I have been trying to identify a case of public corruption that hurt the public as much as the one federal authorities have brought against Sergeant Wayne Jenkins and his partners in crime from Baltimore's disbanded, disgraced gun trace task force. Pound for pound, this one might top them all, and there have been a lot of them. Go back to the days of Spiro Agnew, the corrupt Maryland governor who became the corrupt vice president of the United States, and you would not find public harm on the Jenkins scale. In fact, taxpayers were compensated for Agnew's greed. As Baltimore County Executive and Governor, Agnew took kickbacks on roads and highway contracts, and the kickbacks undoubtedly inflated the cost of those contracts to the public. The scheme worked for years, until 1973, the Watergate era, when federal prosecutors took Agnew down on tax evasion and forced him to resign the vice presidency. It was a huge scandal that left a stain on Maryland's reputation. The leader of the Baltimore Police Department's corrupt gun trace task force pleaded guilty to racketeering and other charges Friday morning, admitting to a wide range of new crimes, including dirt bike thefts and reselling stolen prescription drugs looted during the 2015 riots. The Plea Agreement The leader of the Baltimore Police Department's corrupt gun trace task force pleaded guilty to racketeering and other charges Friday morning, admitting to a wide range of new crimes including dirt bike thefts and reselling stolen prescription drugs looted during the 2015 riots. The Plea Agreement A decade later, an Anne Arundel County judge, presiding over a civil suit against Agnew, ordered him to compensate the state for his greed. After exhausting his appeals, Agnew wrote a check for $264,482 to the Maryland Treasury. The Attorney General put a blow-up of that check on display, giving the public tangible evidence of the cost of graft. That was an unusual turn. Most of the time, it's the intangibles that we focus on the violation of the public trust, the loss of the right to honest service, the corrosive nature of corruption, its damage to those who serve the public honorably. We get all of that with the Gun Trace Task Force corruption case, and then some. On Friday, Jenkins, the supervisor of the task force, pleaded guilty to participating in a long-standing, multifarious criminal enterprise. Five other cops from the gun unit have pleaded guilty to various federal crimes, and two more are awaiting trial. According to his plea agreement, Jenkins was a first-rate multitasker, a real pirate. He schemed to steal hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash and drugs by entering residences without a warrant and conducting traffic stops, then writing false affidavits and arrest reports to cover his crimes. He admitted to participating in seven robberies between May 2011 and August 2016, and to stealing dirt bikes from Baltimore's street riders and selling them through an associate. Jenkins also stole boxes of high-grade marijuana that had been confiscated from the U.S. mail.